Hi, so this is um, part of the playlist on gradients. Uh, now this is an extra video, I think it's probably about video five, I think, something like that. And it's just because it occurred to me there's another type of question that you also get at GCSE um, higher level that asks you to determine the value of the gradient and the y-intercept. But the problem is, is it says to you y equals 3 minus 2x and what they want you to do is to write down the gradients so write this down the gradients and also write down the y intercept okay well that's a little bit tricky because the um, equation has been given to you is in slightly the wrong form because really we we, we need it in the form y equals mx plus c. Okay, well the problem is, is the value of m, which is the gradient value, is actually here. It needs to be at the beginning. So what we have to do is manipulate that equation in order to put it into this format in order to be able to answer the question. Okay, so what I'm going to do is if I look at that question, that equation now, I've got y equals 3 minus 2x. Well, if you imagine that at the front of this 3 there's actually a positive, it's a plus 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to y equals minus 2x plus 3. 3. So in other words, this term minus 2x I've put at the beginning and this term positive 3 I've put at the end. Okay, which means that I'm now able to answer this question because it's in the correct format. But I just want to prove to you that they are exactly the same. So what I'll do is I'm going to just take a value of x as being 2. Okay, so let's say if I had that value of 2 in there, I would have 3 minus 2 times 2. Well, 3 minus 2 times 2 is 4, so 3 minus 4 is minus 1. Okay, so if I have a value of 2 in that equation, it comes out as being minus 1. So Providing this comes out as being minus 1 also, then it would mean that the two equations are the same. So what I'll do is I'm going to put 2 again into this. So I've got minus 2 multiplied by 2 plus 3. Well, minus 2 times 2 is minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1. So I haven't actually changed the equation at all, I've done nothing to it other than just swapped it around. But it gives me that ability now to be able to answer this question because if I want to write down the gradient, the gradient is minus 2. This is this bit here. So in other words, if I have a look at a sketch of it, it's actually going to go this way. Okay, It's a minus gradient and it's going to cross the y-intercept, which is this bit here, the y-intercept, and that's going to cross the y-intercept at plus 3, or the value of y being 3. So this point here will be 0, 3. Okay, I hope that's okay for you. Um, I hope it answers the question. We're looking at um, just working out values of gradient, values of y and set, but we need to manipulate the equation a little bit just to make sure. Um, I hope that's okay, and um, I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.